We are now next to the model of the city from the time of Jesus, from the time of King Herod, Second Temple time. Uh, let's say first century BC and until first century AD. And you can see city of David. King David, 3,800 years ago, built the city there because of one reason, water. Although that city was controlled by, let's say, Mount of Olives, and we are at Mount of Olives in a way. And you can see the Kidron Valley, they divided me and the city. Still, if you want to live, you needed water. Then he protected the city, he conquered it for the Jebusite, and built uh, his palace there. His palace is supposed to be somewhere here. I uh, cannot see it in the model. And he wanted to build a temple, but uh, but God punished him. He told him, uh, he told uh, King, uh, uh, my King David that only King Solomon, his son, will build it. And the first temple was built by King Solomon. But that temple that you see is from first century BC until 7 AD when the Romans destroyed it. And that was built by King Herod. King Herod wanted to impress. And in that case, he built four walls and created an artificial plaza. And now he can build a Jewish temple which is there. Uh, that Jewish temple was between two to three times higher than the Dome of the Rock of today. Why so big? To impress, to impress, to impress. Then this is the Jewish temple, and if you are Christian, Jesus visit that temple as a Jew three times a year, because the only place to pray was in that area. You can see the Atonia Fortress, and that King Herod built to control everything that's happening in the Jewish temple, which is, you can see, facing to the east. Let's continue with the city of David, and on the way, <coughs> sorry, on the way you can see the simple houses. This is the lower city. Uh, if you've been in the city, uh, the Jewish quarter, then you know that you have to walk all the way down to reach the western wall, and the main entrance was from here. It's called Hulda Gates because some people believe that the Hulda prophet. Uh, uh, been buried there, true or not, we don't know, but those um, gates are still exist, then even the stairs are, exist, and you can actually visit it. It's part of Davidson Museum, and the small houses are for the common people, and the big houses above are for the rich and famous, mainly the priests. But the, the palace of King Herod was there too. Today it's uh, the area of Mount Zion and the Jewish Quarter. Look how beautiful it is. You can see the city of David from here, the Jewish temple. And now you can see a little bit of the Western Wall. The Jews are praying there because they cannot pray in a, in a Muslim place. And today the temple is belongs to to the um, uh, to the Muslims. And uh, then the Western Wall is a very good place. It's very close to the Holy of the Holy, and you can see the Holy of the Holy from here. And today it's the Dome of the Rock, and it's very close to the Jewish quarter of today. Then let's continue with it. We are at Mount Zion. Mount Zion at the time of King Herod was part of the wall, part of the city. Today it's out of the city and according to what we believe, you can see the tomb of King David, which is, how should I say, uh, we don't know where it is. Let's start with it. But then why not to believe that the tomb that we see today is that tomb himself. Um, Josephus Plavis that described the city actually mentioned a theater. You can see it here. The, the one who built that model didn't know where to put it, then uh, in a way he did it there. Today, very close to the Western Wall, we found something that can be a theater for us. For so many years, we believe that uh, Josephus, well, didn't know that there must be no theater here because theater it's kind of a pagan temple, a Roman temple, and the Jews didn't allow that. But we found something that might be. Maybe not. It's a small place, then in the future we will know better. Today at Mount Zion, at Mount Zion, which is right there, you can visit the tomb of King David and above it, the room of the Last Supper. And it's a, such an important place to visit. Let's continue. Now we are at the west part of the city, not of the western wall. The western wall is there. But we are at the walls of the city, very close to Jaffa Gate. And um, uh, the walls of the day is only for 16th century, but it was based on ancient walls. Even King Herod walls was based on the ancient wall. All right, now we are very close to Jaffa Gate. You can see the tower of Jaffa Gate that King Herod built. 
and uh, every tower was built for a friend of our brother that he killed and then he cried and he built him something in that area you can see two things first of all look how beautiful is the symmetric palace of his we found part of the poles today it's on uh, by the Kishla the um, Kishla, it's the police uh, police station, uh, but still we found a little bit of it, but it was beautiful, look how beautiful it is, and this is Jaffa Gate. Then, let me, I uh, don't want to disturb the guy that uh, guiding there, but until maybe he will go a little bit uh, further, I want to show you the western wall of the temple. The western wall is big. And um, the Wasmo Plaza is just only a small part of it. Look at the two towers. Uh, we excavated that area, found a lot of beautiful houses. We believe there are priest houses. I believe that the high priest house was there too, but that, that's me and some other scholars, not everyone here at Jaffa Gate. And let me show you where the crucifixion place was taken. That wall that you see is. Here's after Jesus' time. So we call it the third wall. We don't know a lot about it because today it's a part of um, of East Jerusalem. But uh, you can see the gate. Can you see the gate there? Wait, ah, I cannot see it. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, here it is. Here it is, that gate. Then Jesus was taken out of the gate and that is the place of the crucifixion, the Golgotha, the Calvary. That's where he was crucified, died and buried. Um, today it's in the Times Square of Jerusalem. But at the time of uh, King Herod, it might be outside the wall. And in that case, it can be at the tomb of Jesus. Although, I don't know if you know that we have two tombs of Jesus in Jerusalem. One is called the Garden Tomb, belongs to the Church of England. The rest belongs to everyone else. Then Agrippa's city is from here. And you can see a beautiful... Uh, the temple here, is, and you can see the Antonia, hello Antonia, that built by King Herod to control the temple. You can see the temple itself, and the Western Wall Plaza is to the right of the wall. Let me summarize it by climbing up to see it from the viewpoint, and wait with me, please.